Yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, some of you guys wrote me uh, some messages saying they would like to see a new review of Total Spaces. Um, well, uh, I'm taking this opportunity since a new version is out since quite a while. It's called Total Spaces 2, which is only available for uh, OS X Mavericks. If you're running an older version, uh, Mavericks, you will have to stick with told spaces, which is not covered in this review. So, uh, for the guys who are new to told spaces, what is told spaces about? Told spaces uh, is actually a desktop manager. Um, told spaces contains all those things which uh, Apple unfortunately forgot, all just left. So you can define uh, your own desktops uh, within a grid. We will see that right now. You see total spaces is here on top in the menu. And you can, I've, for example, I've specified or defined six desktops. And uh, you have a grid where all those uh, desktops are included. You see here I might have multiple desktops. Yeah, There is my dashboard and so on. And I also have two full screen applications are available. So coming back to the uh, to my web browser, as you can see um, Total Spaces supports uh, the native uh, finger gestures in OS 10 Mavericks. Uh, for example the four finger gesture yeah. or you can for example just uh, do, like, do like this yeah. you take four fingers from right to left this all works perfectly uh, within Total Spaces too. Um, the great thing about Total Spaces now is, as if you remember my previous video about Total Spaces, I had to record it with an external camera since uh, the effects of Total Spaces, the eye candy, they didn't show when you were recording a video and they also didn't show when your MacBook or your Mac was connected to a projector. However, the new version of Total Spaces is able to show all those effects either uh, when you record a video, I'm doing that for example with uh, ScreenFlow, or when you connect it to a projector. It's really nice eye candy and I'm really fond of it. And uh, when I'm giving some presentations and I just flip uh, between all my applications using the cube transition, uh, it's really a very nice effect. Coming to transitions, um, in Total Spaces you can use uh, quite some transitions when changing desktops. For example, let's take a look. Uh, you can, let me find it, I think it should be here, transitions. Yeah? You see my favorite one is already selected, it's the cube. Yeah? Or you could just can use a common slide, or you can use reveal, or fade, or flip. And you even can use an inside cube. However, uh, you can try that out by yourself. Uh, I will concentrate on the cube because this is my favorite one. You also can um, adjust the animation, the speed of the animation. Uh, you can uh, specify your own gestures and it's really, really nice. As you can see here, you have a lot of options in Total Spaces which you can configure. You know, for example, an important one from my side is start Total Spaces right from the login, uh, so that you don't have to start it manually. You can specify a layout just by clicking on these buttons. You add rows or columns, yeah. and every little square here is uh, a symbol for another desktop you've specified. Also very nice is if uh, during the animation you want to enable circulation. Well, what is circulation? Let's say you have four desktops defined and you define a cube and you circle and well, after four circles you the, you've reached the end of the cube, so the cube will stop. However, if you enable circulation, the circle will just continue and it will continue right from the start again. Very nice. Uh, now you also can uh, specify hotkeys, yeah, and uh, you can specify actions for hot corners, for example, what you want to do there. Yeah, if you go to a hot corner, do you want to have an overview with grid expose and so on? I just left it as it is because my upper right hot corners were screensaver. Maybe I specify some other ones. Also, very nice features. Um, you can specify apps and you can uh, give them a uh, preferred desktop. That means your application will, when you start your application, it will always start up 
on the desktop you've specified in here. Now let's see how this animation looks. Um, you see my keys here are alternate, shift and for example right. And I just flip through my different desktops here. Yeah, And that's very nice. Let's say when I'm giving a presentation and I have to switch to Windows, I just go here. Yeah, Or if I have to connect, for example, to a Linux server, then I'm going to a Linux machine, which is available here. Yeah, You even can flip up and you can flip down. Yeah, So you have multiple options. For people who love eye candy, I think tilt spaces is the way to go. However, what you've seen before is total spaces is costing 80 US dollar. That's not uh, a little price, a small price. However, from my point of view, I think it's worth every single penny. Yeah. Uh, it makes a lot of fun using it and um, it's always impressing people when you are giving presentations. And it's really, really nice I can. Uh, one of you guys also asked me a question. He said, well, uh, how about those transitions when you minimize and maximize an application? Um, is it slow or does it work? Well, I have to say, I think there is no problem at all. See, when I go to, for example, okay, first let's do some native stuff. And for example, this is, um, this is Safari. If I maximize it, yeah, it just goes like this. Yeah. And if I minimize it, or if I go back to it, it goes like this. Even Windows in a virtual machine, it's running in uh, VMware. If I'm minimizing it, or if I if I make it a bit smaller, yeah, perfectly fine. Yeah, and if I maximize it a bit uh, again, yeah, and then it's back there. Yeah, you see those little um, uh, flickering here. That's not due to total spaces, but that's due to yeah, well. The operation system you're just watching or you just see on my screen. Okay, coming back to an operating system which I really love. Yeah, that was my overview um, about Toad Spaces. Um, you guys like, also told me that you don't want to see uh, just a demo with some music in the background, but you'd rather have to uh, comment me Toad Spaces and have a, have a few words from my side. Well, this is for you guys. Um, if you're interested in Total Spaces, just point your web browser to totalspaces.binaryh.com, as you can see here on the top. Um, well, I recommend this uh, piece of software to everyone uh, running OS X Mavericks. I really enjoy it, and so I hope you will too. Okay, cheers guys.